Today can be a big shopping day, so we checked in with some Hilton Head Island business owners to find out what kinds of crowds they're seeing on this long weekend. And WSAV's Kyra Jones has tonight's Low Country Report. Labor Day marks the unofficial end to summer, and many people pack the Caligny Shopping Plaza to celebrate the holiday by looking for a few bargains. With the whenever it rains, it's a good shopping day, so it's been it's been pretty steady for the day. Many businesses in the plaza saw an increase in sales compared to last year's profits, which were impacted by COVID. Um, business is doing really good for our holiday weekend. Of course, you know, with last year, you didn't want to judge too much with last year because the way we were coming out of COVID is a little bit different. So the numbers that we've been seeing. This holiday weekend is comparable to like 2018, 2019, which is good. But some stores are still struggling to get past the pandemic related slump. A little bit because it's not as busy as it normally is for this time of the year. So it is a little, it is concerning for sure. During the peak of COVID, many businesses saw a decline in sales due to the decrease in tourism rates. Now, two years later, some are seeing sales return to pre-COVID levels. And like I said, you know, it's been really good. Um, August was a pretty good month for us still, which, you know, usually Labor Day is your last to raw or whatever. But basically Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today, we were seeing really good numbers, a um, lot of traffic in Caligny itself. So, yes, actually. Mm -hmm. Tropical Styles owner Christine Sanger says, Despite the hardships, you have to keep going. I've been doing this now going on 13 years, so you kind of learn to plan ahead. Things are totally different than they normally are, but you just got to hang in there. I've been doing it so long, we got to power through it. <laughs>